Today I'd like you to go ahead and count your teens again, and then I'm going to show you something new. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, so the children will do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna rush through it a little bit here, but the children will do all the counting to till they get to nineteen. Okay. Wow, okay, so you've got to 19. What happens when we put one more here? You're right, we have to exchange. That's a 10, so we need to exchange it for a 10 bar. Now, this isn't the right quantity either. This is 20. We've got two tens, 20. Let's keep counting. Here I've got tw 21, and this is how we're going to show it, 21. Ten, and they can keep counting all the way to 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we continue. We continue counting as long as they will pay attention and stay with you. At some point, we wanna get them to count all the way to 99. Uh, and this can be, you know, especially with elementary children, something that you need to kind of drag them through a little bit because they are, uh, it's not as engaging to the reasoning mind. So whenever they engage their reasoning minds in some way, if they wanna say, well, I know this is 23, so if I add one more, that's 24, we don't have to do the counting all the time, especially if they are really developing confidence in their counting. So use your judgment on that with the children as they're, as they're showing you what you need. But definitely try to count through so that you exchange to another 10 so that we get to 30. Try to do that on the first time with the children. So there's 25. There's 26. There's 27. There's 28. Here's 29. All right. Oh, wait a second. We have 10 there. What does that mean we do? That means we exchange for a 10. We've got a new category. And that means this isn't accurate at all. We need three tens. We need 30. And then continue. At this point, the children should be able to count most anything. And you can have them practice this counting in the classroom through these bead bars and the counting like this and exchanging. You can have them practice it with golden beads. You can have them practice it with the bead chains uh, where they can do the counting of any of the bead chains. And that might be a familiar and satisfying work to them. Uh, so all of this can promote counting. Remember too, that there's lots of other math work we do where the children do a lot of counting. They need to do a lot of counting when they do factors or multiples. So we can introduce those new concepts to help reinforce their counting while also getting them into some math work that's gonna satisfy the reasoning mind. But if they're really struggling with counting, then work to make sure that this kind of counting practice is happening every day so that you can really get them engaged and get that skill acquired for them.